It is May the 27th, 2014, and we are again at the Clarksville Research Station at Michigan State University. It is now 26 days since the previous video was taken showing the flowering stage. So we can now see how advanced the fruit is and the number of fruit. So over here we can see that the rain shelter has now been deployed. Just grab this cluster of fruit. We'll do a comparison to inside the retractable roof in a minute. The flowering outside was somewhat erratic, but in general, the flowering date was approximately 15 days delayed inside sorry, outside in the uncovered trees in comparison to that in the retractable roof. Here we can see a comparison in the leaves outside. In comparison to that in the retractable roof, we can see that the stem length has approximately double and there is a difference in how clean the leaves are. So here's the fruit from outside, and we can compare that to what's happening inside the retractable roof. There is definitely a heavier fruit set inside. The heating, the, the tanks here that you see were for heaters that were used only on extreme cold nights where there was risk of damage to the, to the flowers due to the early flowering. The heaters were not used to maintain warmer temperatures to advance the growth, only to protect the flowers from extreme cold. <coughs> 